I sure Trevor up to these days? Oh, well, he started taking steroids for his bodybuilding, only they made his feet swell up. And a bollock. No, just his feet. Mm. Anyway, how's your night? Is he still taste tester down at the condom factory? No, he had to pack it in. I got the bow. Bing bong. Customer service announcement. Why don't you indulge yourself with a lot of the scented crispy pancakes? About a pound for six, I should think. Bing bong. Yes, but he's been quite ill, you see. Oh, he's not back on the purcell, is he? I told him if he's going to snort washing powder, he's got to get it through reputable sources. That stuff's cut with class out drugs. No, this was a virus. Mm. I tell him not to eat the pork pies after they go fairly, but he says that's the best bit. Anyway, he felt terrible, but he dragged himself into work as they booked a stripper for Julie Hogflange that was a look-alike for Brad Pitt and Russell Grant. How can you be a look-alike for Brad Pitt and Russell Grant? Oh, his face looked like Brad Pitt and his arse looked like Russell Grant. Oh, I mm. see. Oh, hang on a tick. Bing bong, customer service announcement. Why not buy ten bottles of Ribena and a melon? Then you can use the checkout as a bowling alley. Bing bong! Of course, no sooner had he arrived at work that the virus starts giving him trouble. And he let himself down with the Mr. Pooper in his undies. Oh, that is unfortunate. Yeah. I suppose he was too ashamed to tell anyone. Well, he still hasn't lived down the time his boss found him in the station and he covered wearing nothing but the shimmy Blair mask. So naturally, he didn't want to let on about this latest mishap. Oh, one second. Bing bong, customer service announcement. Why not trick your friends into thinking you've gone weird by putting spaghetti on your head? Spaghetti about the pound in the spaghetti aisle. Bing bong, yes, he tried to mask the smell by rubbing his trousers with a strawberry chupa chup, but it was a losing battle. Oh, so what did he do? No, he dumped out to clean himself up, only the lab was engaged, so he had to make deal with the kitchenette. Oh, risky. Yes, but he pulled up his trousers and pants and cleaned himself up as best he could with a pants scourer, but then Doris the tea lady entered and caught him with his beefy McMahon stick out. Oh, I bet she had a Strong. Just a quick one, then she left him to it. Hang on a tick. Bing bong, customer service announcement. Why not treat yourself to a budget facial? Hummus, two pound a kilo. Bing bong. So, what happened? Well, he put his trousers back on and started washing his pants in the sink. But then Alan from accounts came in. Oh, that must have been awkward. Oh, well, he got away with it. He pretended his pants were a dishcloth and he was doing the washing up. Only then Alan said he'd dry. So my night, he had to wash everything with his dirty pants. Oh, that reminds me. Bing bong, customer service announcement. Extra thick gravy now available in the gravy aisle. Why not try a new variety with delicious pieces of sweet corn? Bing bong! So it all worked out in the end? Well, sort of. Only he didn't know which mugs had been washed up with his diuretic wife once. He could never have a coffee again. It was like Russian roulette. Oh. He was forced to quit. Oh, so where's he working now? Oh, he's head of chicken goods at the slaughterhouse. Oh, that's nice. He always did want to work with animals. Yeah. Hang on a tip. Bing bong. Customer service announcement. Why not treat yourself to a meat hot pot? 30% of the meat is now from recognised species. Bing bong. So anyway, how's your Cheryl? Oh, she is a disappointment. You fight against the stereotype that girls with big boobs are stupid. And then there's my Cheryl with her double D's convinced that pixies grow on some sort of bush. In plants? No, the real. Am I dead? Well, let's see. You fell into a pork pie machine, yes? I lost my balance tossing in a pig. Yes, I've just had the pig come through.